You may be seated. Good afternoon. I am Michael Anthony Garcia. And I welcome you to Baccalaureate 2019. On behalf of the class of 2019, I thank you for honoring us with your presence this evening. Please remain standing for the presentation of colors, which will be led by the BISD Police Department, the national anthem, which will be sung by Joshua Tovar from Veterans Memorial Early College High School, and the Pledge of Allegiance and Texas Pledge, which will be led by Brandon Edward Bautista from Hanna Early College High School. At this time, I ask my fellow classmates, which I have called upon, to please join us at the podium. Buenas tardes. Mi nombre es José Melgarejo y quiero dar la más cordial bienvenida a esta ceremonia en honor de la generación de 2019. La generación de 2019 les agradece el habernos honrado con su presencia esta tarde. Por favor, continúen de pie para los honores a la bandera a cargo de el Departamento de Policía del Distrito Escolar, así como el himno nacional que va a ser interpretado por Joshua Tovar de la Escuela Preparatoria Veterans Memorial, los juramentos de las banderas de Estados Unidos y de Texas liderados por Brandon Bautista de la Escuela Preparatoria de Hannah. Para esto le pido a mis compañeros que me acompañen en el podio. I now say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the United States of America and to the Republic for which stands one nation under God, one indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We will now honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to, I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. We done. by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight Oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Thank you. You may be seated. I 
I now call on Luis Alberto Leal from Hannah Early College High School and Juan Amieva from Veterans Memorial High School, who will deliver the welcome. Gracias. Favor de tomar asiento. Ahora le pido a Luis Alberto Leal de la Preparatoria Hanna y a Juana Mieva de la Preparatoria Veterans Memorial que suban al podio para darnos la bienvenida. Good afternoon to the graduating class of 2019, parents and honored guests. Today is the time for celebrating a great accomplishment and it couldn't have been done without the support of those who played a critical role in each of our lives. I begin by thanking the teachers who worked very hard to ensure all of us obtained the necessary skills to not only become high school graduates, but to continue our path to a post-secondary education. Not only did you teach us, you also showed each and every one of us that success takes perseverance and dedication. To the parents, thank you for supporting us every step of the way by encouraging us and helping us see how important obtaining an education really is. Today we begin the next step of our journey. The possibilities are endless, and the world offers us that. Let us never take this for granted and vow to always stay focused, support others with their dreams and hopes, and stay the path. Above all else, never forget where we came from and promise to give back to the community that gave us so much. Thank you for taking part in one of the most important times in our lives, and welcome to today's celebration. Buenas tardes a la clase de 2019, a los padres e invitados distinguidos. Hoy es un momento para celebrar un gran logro, el cual no se hubiera sido posible sin el apoyo de los que desempeñan un papel fundamental en la vida de cada uno de nosotros. Iniciaré agradeciendo a los profesores que trabajaron arduamente para asegurarse que todos nosotros obtuviéramos las habilidades necesarias, no solo para ser candidatos para graduarnos de la preparatoria, sino también para continuar nuestra trayectoria hacia una educación superior. A nuestros padres. Gracias por apoyarnos paso a paso, animándonos y ayudándonos a entender la importancia de obtener una educación. Clase 2019. Hoy damos el siguiente paso de nuestro viaje. Sobre todo, nunca olvidemos de dónde venimos y prometamos devolver algo a la comunidad que nos ha dado tanto. Gracias por participar en uno de los momentos más importantes de nuestras vidas. Les quiero dar la bienvenida a la celebración de hoy. This afternoon, Ms. Minerva Peña, Board President of the Brownsville Independent School District Board of Trustees, brings us a welcome on behalf of the board. Esta tarde, la señora Minerva Peña, Presidenta de la Mesa Directiva del Estudio Escolar Dependiente de Brownsville, nos dará la bienvenida. Welcome, everyone. Bienvenidos a todos. Uh, quiero, si me dan su permiso, Hacer una oración para ustedes. I'd like to, with your permission, say a little prayer for all of you. So if you'll please bow your head, por favor, inclinen su rostro. Dear God, today I ask that you bless these children emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. And I ask that Jesus Christ guide them, protect them, and provide for their every need. Dios, hoy te pido que tú bendigas a estos niños emocionalmente, mentalmente, espiritualmente. Y Cristo Jesús, que los guíes, que los protejas y que les des todo lo que necesiten todos sus días para salir adelante. Esto te lo pido con todo corazón. This I ask with all my heart and our hearts here. Amen. Amen. At this time, I would like to yield the rest of my time and ask my Vice President if she would please continue with the board welcome. She'd do me that honor. Este momento le voy a pedir a la Vice Presidente Silvia que por favor siga con la bienvenida para ustedes. Con permiso. Thank you, Ms. Peña. Just a brief, a few brief comments on behalf of the board. Uh, I know that there's only a couple weeks left before you actually start with the graduations. Uh, I noticed that when we first came in, Hannah was clapping for Hannah, veterans was clapping for veterans, but remember in two weeks, it's all about BISD. It's about your hometown, it's about your family, your friends, all of you are one in BISD. So I wanted to extend our welcome and let you know that we are definitely pulling for you the next couple of weeks. We'll be at your graduations. Your family, your friends, everyone here knows that you're, you're about to start the next chapter of your life, and we couldn't be prouder. God bless you. Thank you.
Dr. Sylvia R. Hatton, Interim Superintendent of Schools for the Brownsville Independent School District, will provide a welcome on behalf of the school district. La doctora, la doctora Sylvia R. Hatton, Superintendente Interina del Distrito Escolar Independiente de Brownsville, nos dará la bienvenida de parte del Distrito Escolar. Good afternoon and welcome to the Brownsville Independent School District Baccalaureate 2019 for Hannah Early College High School and Veterans Memorial Early College High School. I want to just briefly say to the parents, welcome and thank you. Thank you for trusting us, for believing in Brownsville ISD, for loving your children, for encouraging your children, and for bringing them to this wonderful celebratory moment. To the graduates, I want to say to you, congratulations on your journey to this point. And I want to remind you that the best still lies ahead. I want you to know that you have been cherished at BISD, that you have been nurtured, and that you have been prepared. Now the next phase begins. Set ambitious goals. Dream big, bigger than you can even imagine in your wildest dreams because you are prepared to accomplish those goals, to reach those dreams, and to exceed them a hundred thousand times over. There are no limits to what you can become. There are no limits on where you can go. So enjoy this journey. Celebrate every moment of baccalaureate, senior week, graduation, and then just remember to face forward, push hard, and exceed your wildest dreams. Congratulations to the graduates. At this time, I call on Renee Rodriguez from Veterans Memorial Early College High School to introduce our platform guests. Le pido a Rene Rodriguez presentar a nuestros invitados distinguidos. Before I introduce our platform guests, I would like for them to know that the class of 2019 is honored that they could join us this evening. We thank you all for your contributions to our success, individually and collectively. As I call your name, please stand and be recognized. In the first row to my left, we have Dr. Sylvia R. Haddon, Interim Superintendent of Schools. <laughs> Sylvia Hernandez Kaufman, keynote speaker. Ms. Minerva Peña, President, Board of Trustees. Dr. Sylvia P. Atkinson, Vice President, Board of Trustees. Ms. Drew Brown, Member. Mr. Erasmo Castro, Member. Ms. Laura Perez Reyes, Member. To my right, we have Dr. Dora E. Salceda, Assistant Superintendent Area 4 for Hannah and Veterans Cluster. Dr. Timothy Cuff, Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction. Let's give them a big round of applause. Just kidding. Ms. Blanca Lombardi, <laughs> Hannah Early College High School principal. <laughs> Dr. Linda Gallegos, Veterans Memorial High School principal. <laughs> Denise Morales, Veterans Memorial High School principal. <laughs> Jose Morales, Morales and Belinda Morales, <laughs> Hannah Early College. Now let's give them a big round of applause. Mm. 
At this time, I now call upon Ms. Kayla Marie Nelson to introduce our keynote speaker. This afternoon, it is with great pleasure that I introduce our keynote speaker, Ms. Sylvia Hernandez Kaufman, Inspector General for the Texas Health and Human Services. Sylvia Hernandez Kaufman is the Inspector General for Texas Health and Human Services. She was appointed to this position in January 2018 by Texas Governor Greg Abbott. She is the first woman confirmed by the Texas Senate to hold the position of HHS Inspector General. The Inspector General is responsible for preventing, detecting, and deterring fraud, waste, and abuse in the delivery of all health and human services in the state of Texas. Texas spends $40 billion in health and human services per year. Sylvia oversees the operations of the 600-person office and sets the vision, direction, and strategy for the office. A native Texan born and raised in Brownsville, Sylvia was the first person in her family to attend college. She was valedictorian of what was then named Gladys Porter High School and earned her Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Science from Stanford University. Sylvia received her Master in Public Policy from Harvard University. Sylvia lies, lives in South Austin with her husband, David, and their three children, Daniel, Natalia, and Isabella, and their pet pig, Hamilton. <laughs> Prior to her current appointment, Sylvia served as Principal Deputy Inspector General and as Deputy Inspector General for Data and Technology. In that role, her primary responsibility was the development and oversight of the IG's fraud analytics strategy in support of the mission of the office. Before joining HHS, Sylvia was a program manager, project manager, and senior policy analyst with a strategic planning unit in the information technology division at the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. In that role, she was responsible for the procurement, design, development, implementation, and operation of the state's award-winning portal, www.mass.gov. For her work in transforming the delivery of government services in Massachusetts, Sylvia received the Governor's Special Achievement Award. Sylvia has worked for the Office of Management and Budget in Washington, D.C. as an IT policy analyst intern, and has also been a project manager, team leader, systems analyst, and a database administrator for, with Exxon Company, USA, now ExxonMobil and Houston. Please welcome Ms. Sylvia Hernandez Kaufman. Buenas tardes. Good afternoon, class of 2019. I didn't hear you. What? <laughs> It is a great honor to be with you today and to share this very special day with you. Thank you to Ms. Mary Solis, to Dr. Dora Sauceda, and to the Brownsville Independent School District for inviting me to speak with you today. First, I want to start by saying congratulations to you, the class of 2019. The fact that you are here today is a testament to your perseverance and your hard work. You should be very, very proud of yourselves. Let's give you a round of applause because you guys are awesome. I also want to honor and thank the teachers, the principals, the counselors, the trustees, the coaches, and countless other educators for their passion, their talents, and the time they spent guiding you, investing in you to make sure that you were able to sit here today. So thank them, please. And I want to especially honor and congratulate the parents, the abuelitos, the abuelitas, las tías, los tíos, all the family members and your friends whose support brought you here to celebrate this very special day. Your parents have seen you take your first step. They saw you when you lost your first tooth. They dropped you off at your kindergarten, your first day of kindergarten. They saw you score your first goal or kick your first football, make your first basketball goal. They helped you get ready for your first date, and they worried themselves sick when you missed that first curfew. 
and now they get to see you graduate. You are making them very proud. And I want all the graduates to please stand and look at your parents and say thank you, wave at them so they can take a picture with you. Okay. All right, let's get going because this, <laughs> I only have 10 minutes, okay. <laughs> I just want you to remember that you are here today because of them and all of the sacrifices that your parents have done for you. I am the product of the American dream and of the many sac and I'm going to cry no, I'm not. and of the many sacrifices that my parents made to make sure that I succeeded. My grandmother and my mother were homeless when they first arrived from Veracruz to Matamoros almost 60 years ago. My grandmother was a cleaning lady, my mom was a seamstress, and my dad a clerk. They worked all day at their full-time jobs, and then they cleaned a bank at night so they could save enough money for a down payment for a house so that we could have a house to live in. But what they lacked in material resources, they made up for with love. With their encouragement, I went on to graduate as valedictorian of Gladys Porter High School I went on to Stanford and graduated with a degree in computer science. And then I went to Harvard and got my degree in public policy. And I won't repeat all the things that they said, but you know, I've worked for Exxon, I worked for the Office of Management and Budget in Washington, D.C., I worked for the state of Massachusetts, and now I've worked for six years, seven years for um, the Texas Health and Human Services Commission where I am the Inspector General. And people ask me, what is that? You know, I get all these letters from students asking me, do you inspect like kitchens? Do you guys send out people to go inspect kitchens? Or what, what is it that you inspect? And my job is to make sure that there is no fraud, waste, or abuse in Medicaid, in SNAP, you know, the, the food stamps program, in any of the programs that receive money from the Health and Human Services Commission. It's a very important job, and I am very honored to actually be able to have that position. And so I embody all of the hopes and dreams and sacrifices of my parents. Um, and just like you, you sitting right there, you embody and carry the dreams and the hopes and the sacrifices of your parents. I was you 32 years ago, sitting at my baccalaureate and frankly, I don't really remember or have any idea of who spoke or what was said. So as I was writing this, I'm like, okay, what can I do so they can remember? So I thought, maybe I'll just keep it short in the hopes that you'll remember that at least, that it was short. <laughs> so in the next hour and a half, just kidding, in the next few minutes, um, I wanna share with you a few things that I wish I had known about life when I was 18. And the, the first thing is, for me, the most important thing, and that is that you should always strive to li live a life of honor and do the right thing, always. No matter what career path you choose, what degree you want to go into, always do the right thing and live a life of integrity. There is no, you have inside of you, your parents have put inside of you this moral compass. Use that moral compass. You know what's right, you know what's wrong and always choose to do what's right, because it's very important that you have a life of integrity. Number two, be courageous. Don't let fear of the unknown limit your success. You know, sometimes you're gonna be doing things that are brand new, like going to college or going for that first interview. Um, these new things are going to seem scary, but you should know that any time that you choose to do a new thing that makes you feel scared, you are growing as a human being. If you go through life only doing things that make you comfortable and you stay in your comfort zone and don't do things that scare you, you're not really living. And a life lived in fear is half a life. So take that chance. Who knows what might happen? Number three, carpe diem, seize the day. Don't fall for the pursuit of happiness trap. You know, that's when happiness is just around the corner you know, I'm going to be happy when I graduate from high school, or I'm going to be happy when I buy that car, or I'm going to be happy when I get that house. 
I'm going to be happy when I get married. Because let me tell you that happiness comes from within. And we all have that light inside of us that needs to shine bright. And you need to learn how to keep that light shining. Do things that give you peace and that create purpose for you in your life. Volunteer. Read good books. Plant a garden. Go to the beach. Travel. Explore the world. Spend time with family and friends. Be there when they need you. Because those are the things that would really bring you true happiness in life. But you have to do that every single day. Think of life as this line. And you're going about your life on this line. And you're this little dot. And everything after the dot or before the dot is the past. And everything in front of the dot is the future. And your job is to focus on the dot. And the dot is today. And you have to today make sure that you do everything in your power to enjoy today. Because we don't know if we're going to be here tomorrow. And the past has already gone past. So focus on that dot. Don't forget that. Focus on the dot. Hold on, these are, yes. I'm sorry, I'm losing my train of thought here. Here we go. Number, um, number six is persevere. Because you will fail. Everyone does. We all, we've all failed in our life. Um, you're going to fail a test. You're going to fail a class. You might crash, you know, who knows? All these things might happen to you, but you have to make sure that you know how to get back up there, dust off, and, move, and keep moving forward. You have to lift off where you, t where you stayed, and um, no one is gonna succeed who hasn't failed. So if you haven't failed, again, you're not really living a life. If you have never failed, you've never taken a chance. You've never taken that extra step to move forward. Number seven is to stay curious. Be a lifelong learner. Always, always want to improve yourself. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. Explore, discover, see the world. This is your chance. You have nothing holding you back. You're 18 years old. The world is right there for you to take. And number um, eight, create your own definition of success. People think that all success follows one path. You go to college, you get a job, you get married, you buy a house, you have children, and a lot of people go through that route, but there are many other ways to achieve success. You have to define it for yourself. What does it mean to you? And you have to find your own path. Maybe it's not going to college. Maybe you choose to do something different. Maybe you don't get married. Maybe you don't want to have kids, and that's okay. You have to find the right path for yourself. But no matter what path you choose, you have to remember to stay connected to your roots. Come home for visits. Call your mom. Keep traditions going. Give back to the community that supported you to get to where you are today. And so with that, I just want to say again, congratulations to the class of 2019. Go explore the world. Make us proud. And remember this quote from Helen Keller, that life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. Congratulations. On behalf of the Brownsville Independent School District Board of Trustees, our interim superintendent, Dr. Sylvia R. Hatton, and the class of 2019, we would like to thank you, Ms. Sylvia Hernandez Kaufman, Inspector General for the Texas Health and Human Services, for being our keynote speaker this afternoon. De parte de la mesa directiva de nuestro distrito escolar, nuestra superintendente interina, la doctora Sylvia R. Hatton y la generación del 2019, le damos las más sinceras gracias a la señora Sylvia Hernandez Kaufman. Inspectora General de Servicios Humanos y de Salud de Texas, por haber servido esta tarde como nuestra oradora distinguida. To conclude our program, Frida Rangel from Veterans Memorial Early College High School and Abigail Itzet Morales from Hannah Early College High School will offer some closing remarks.
Para concluir nuestro programa, Frida Rangel de la Preparatoria Veterans Memorial y Abigail Morales de la Preparatoria Hanna dirán unas palabras. As this celebration comes to an end, we would like to thank everyone who came today as well as our honored guest. Class of 2019, the time has come to forge a path towards our future. No matter what obstacles you encounter, the lifelong skills you possess will only serve to break them down. Remember, behind you are your memories. Before you, all your dreams. Around you, all who love you. Within you, all you need. Thank you to everyone for joining us today and see you at graduation. Al llegar al final de esta celebración, queremos darle las gracias a todos los que asistieron, así como también a nuestros invitados de honor. Generación de 2019, ha llegado el momento de forjar nuestro futuro. Sin importar los obstáculos que quieran atravesar nuestro camino, todo lo que hemos aprendido nos ayudará a sobrepasarlos. Recordemos, detrás de nosotros quedan nuestras memorias, por delante nuestros sueños, alrededor nuestros, todos aquellos que nos aman, y dentro de nosotros, todo lo que necesitamos. Gracias a todos por habernos acompañado el día de hoy, y nos veremos en nuestra graduación. Gracias. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, and have a great afternoon. Muchas gracias a todos y que pasen muy buenas tardes.